At the Scripps Institution in Southern California, researchers are on a mission to find out what makes the mako the undisputed fastest shark in the ocean. Yeah, I'd compare maybe a mako to something like a cheetah, but bigger and with larger teeth and more muscle. So is there a clue in those muscles? Perhaps the tuna? The mako's favorite food can unlock some answers. Over 400 million years, the tuna has developed strategies like extreme speed, which might give it a fighting chance against the mako. But while the tuna can run, it just can't hide. Somehow, the mako has kept up with it. Noticing a similarity in body structure, the researchers couldn't help wondering whether the likenesses went deeper still. Here's what a typical fish would look like. So here's the backbone. And here you can see this is the red aerobic musculature on the outside right here. This is what's used in continuous swimming. So most fish, including most sharks, are powered by muscles running down the sides of their body all the way back to the tail. But researchers realized makos have a very different body and tail structure to most other sharks. In fact, the thing the mako's tail most closely resembles is the tunas. Could the similarities go deeper still? In tunas, this musculature is located closer to the backbone. These two little groupings of red muscle almost act as pistons, and these pistons go back and forth like this and move the tail back and forth. So the muscles act like an engine room powering a propeller with the same highly focused driving force. It limits lateral movement and focuses all of the thrust in the forward direction. Now here's the really clever part. The mako has exactly the same centralized muscle structure. When predator and prey develop along similar lines, scientists call it convergent evolution. However fast the tuna swims, the mako always has to go that little bit faster.